Hi and welcome again. Today I would like to share with you a video regarding unboxing my first ever spray booth. I have read and heard a lot of positive feedback. My favorite one was that this tool is a really must have for everyone, for beginners and for pros. I have painted all of my previous projects outside, so this device would help me to finalize some of them despite the short day and cold. So let's see what is in this box. There is a turntable which rotates quite smoothly. Instruction manual with a couple of pictures. 12 volts, 5 amps and 60 watts power supply. An air hose that you can put out of the window. A top LED tube. And the main product. Once you get it out of the box, there are some additional parts hidden inside, like a pipe coupling, some side LED tubes, another air hose and a clamp hose. In order to assemble this booth, you have to pull both the left and the right side cover board to stand vertically. Then fasten the inside snap joint of both sides. Next step is to take out LED tubes, put them in the right places and connect to each other. Once it's done, you can plug the power supply. Let's check how it works. LED light seems to be fine. You can adjust the light intensity as well. To show you how much operating space gives you the spray booth, I put some cars of various scales on the turntable. First, Tamiya TT02, 1 to 10. Second, 1 to 18. Third, one to twenty four. Fourth, one to forty three. And the fifth, one to sixty four, I guess. And now the airflow test at max fan speed. Not bad. 
the sheet of paper stands still, stick to the air filter and when fans are switched off, it slides down. It is BLK model as it has two knobs, first one to adjust airflow level and the second one to adjust LED light intensity. The LK model has switches, one with two airflow presets and second to switch on or off the LED lights. So this is it, if you know any more differences between LK and BLK models, put them in the comment. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.